today from the Emmanuel TV family. The journey continues. The vision remains the same. Changing lives, changing nations, changing the world. Jesus, Emmanuel, 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 I greet you all in the name of the Lord, Emmanuel, God is with us, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, good morning church. Good morning, church. Good morning, and win today. Win tomorrow. And win forever. You know, winning does not start around you. It begins inside of you. So if you know you are a winner for life, let me see and hear you put your hands together and clap for the Lord. Make a joyful sound to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Our Lord is good. Our Lord is faithful. He is dependable. Reliable to all who relies on him for everything. May the name of the Lord be praised. May the name of the Lord be praised. Amen. You may be seated. Good morning once again. Today is the day the Lord has chosen. For us to meet together as one big family. It is a day to be remembered. And we want to thank him for this amazing grace. We want to thank God for preserving our lives. Thank you for not allowing the pain of the past to hold us back in bondage. In all trials and questions, we see his hand working out the answers for us. We see God's mouth mediating for us. His legs going places for our goodness and our future. Praise be to his holy name. Amen. 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 Our gathering here this morning is as it should be by his divine will. So I want to use this opportunity to express our gratitude and love to all the friends of the ministry, to our partners, Emmanuel TV partners all over the world. We say thank you. You are amazing. To the Synagogue Church of All Nations members across the globe, we say big thanks to you. Your love cannot be quantified. We want to express our thanks to all the religious bodies, traditional institutions, the media, our security forces, members of the diplomatic corps, civil society organizations, the judiciary, and private individuals. To all who have shown their love and consign to us, 
during this turbulent time, we sincerely cannot appreciate you all. But we see, may God Almighty continue to see to all that concerns you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. Yes. The desire of our father in the Lord, Prophet TV Joshua, whose life we are celebrating here today as well, is to multiply. He desired to multiply, to grow. And that he did very well by sowing seeds throughout his lifetime as a prophet of God. He watered the seeds. He nurtured the seeds. See them grow and bear fruits. Today we are praying. And we have prayed that those seeds we continue to bear fruits to the glory of God and to the benefits of man. Amen. 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 Our Father in the Lord, Prophet T.B. Joshua, told us many times as he mentored. He said, if someone should come to Christ Jesus, somebody must point to the way. If you must come to Christ Jesus, someone must point to the way. He leads. He pointed us to the way of life. Way of light. The way of Jesus Christ. With so much love and humility. Dedication. Commitment. With sincerity of heart. He said that what makes us human is not our ability to think. But our ability to love one another. For if you love for Christ's sake, we are sowing to the Spirit. Because the love we give away is the only love we keep. He is with us here today in spirit. The church, the church cannot stop. He is with us in the Spirit. The church cannot stop. He has done beautifully well. He has run the rest well. And has left his footprint on the stand of time. We will have to run this race with perseverance. Every one of us. With patience. An enduring faith. The Bible said in the book of 1 John 7 verse 8 that God is love. He who does not love does not know God because God is love. So I stand on this holy ground today. I stand in this sacred altar. In the spirit of love as our conquering power, to rededicate this house, this mission, the arena of liberty, this sanctuary, the synagogue church of all nations, to God. I cover this church with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover this mission with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover this house with the blood of Jesus Christ. It is the blood that saves, heals, and delivers us. The blood that gave us second chance as people in need of God's divine forgiveness. People in need of his mercy, favor, and compassion. Father, sanctify us body, soul, and spirit. And make our heart ready for you. Make our heart ready to do your work. Yes. Spirit 
Spirit of the living God fall afresh on us. Amen. Melt us. Amen. Remold us. Amen. Fill us. Amen. And use us for your glory. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You may be seated. To our partners, Emmanuel TV partners, to the Synagogue Church of All Nations members across the globe, we urge you to see this ministry as your home and your own. We must walk in love and in unison. We must walk in love and in unison. We want to assure you that our ministry is in total unity by the grace of God. Our mission, our dreams remain the same in Christ. It remains one in Christ. That is to preach the gospel. To continue to march with God as to march for him till the end. This one family is such a big one. And we have acted as such globally. Our father in the Lord, Prophet T.B. Joshua, told us he said, in whatever situation, whatever circumstances you are, there is no real evil in it because God is our way. He said, when God is executing his plans in our lives, he also allows events to continue to unfold until his purpose is revealed in us. I want you all to know and understand that acting faith will make everything that is against us to be for us. Acting faith will make all things that is against you to be for all, for you. Daddy taught us about relationship. He said the main thing about Christianity is not the work we do, but the relationship we maintain and the atmosphere produced by that relationship. Our ministry is such a unique one. Not by our power or our knowledge, but by God's power working through his word and spirit that brings about the beautiful things to behold. Great work of faith. Healing. Deliverances, reconciliation, Christ's main purpose of coming to us to reconcile us back to God. We will forever be grateful for what God Almighty has used his servant, Prophet T.B. Joshua, to do in this house. We will be grateful for what God Almighty has used his servant, Prophet T.B. Joshua, to do in this house. Wonderful work of healings, deliverances, work of faith, charity work, name it. May his soul rest in peace. And so I want to urge you all, let us remain passionately attached to and be guided by our faith in Christ Jesus. Faith demands for a new heart, a free heart, a heart that is not locked up by offense. The Bible in the book of Romans 8 verse 1 says that there is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. 
who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. And in verse 35, Romans 8 verse 35, I read. The Bible says, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? Nothing shall separate us from the love of God. And so I want to thank you all. Thank you for coming today. Thank you for loving Prophet TV Joshua. Thank you for loving the Snagot Church of All Nations. I pray that the grace and love of God will dominate our heart. In Jesus' name. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Very, very short message. It is the message of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Delivered to us here by his servant, Prophet T.B. Joshua. And he named it the decision of a champion. Let's turn and say the decision of a champion. The decision of a champion. He began by telling us who a champion is. Or who a champion was. A champion is this. A champion is that. A champion does this. A champion does that. He said that champions are not crowned for desiring to be champions. But they are crowned because they defeated their foes. Champions are not crowned for desiring to be champion, but they are crowned because they defeated their enemies. And he gave us the Bible passage. So turn with me to the book of Luke. Luke 22. From verse 39 to 42. And I read, Jesus went out as usual. Jesus went out as usual. Meaning he has been doing that before. Jesus went out as usual to the Mount of Olives. And his disciples followed him. On reaching the place, he said to them, Pray that you will not fall into temptation. He withdrew about a stone thrown beyond them, knelt down and prayed, Father, if you are willing, take this call from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. Amen. Amen. Father, if you are willing, take this call from me. Yet not my will, May your will be done. At this point in time, in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ's life, his human nature was troubled. Say to someone, I will make a decision that will benefit my future. I will make a decision that will benefit my future. Say to somebody, make a decision that will benefit your future. Make a decision that will benefit your future. Yes. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ could have called up the angels to deliver him up from being crucified. He is capable of coming down from the cross and heart. 
but he made an incredible decision. He made an incredible decision. Our hope, our life, our future today. You see, you will begin to succeed when the pain and hurts of others matters to you. You will begin to succeed with your life, progress with your life, when the pain and hurt of others matters to you. Christ made an incredible decision. And that is what we are enjoying today. He was willing to go through a season of pain in order to create an eternity of gain. Who do you want to be like? Who do you want to be like? The prophet, Prophet T.B. Joshua, stood here on that day and was asking us, who do you want to be like? And I was just sitting down there. I heard people before me, behind me, by my side, making decisions. I want to be like my father. I want to be like my mentor. Yes, I want to be like my sister over there. I want to be like my mom. For me, Evelyn. I said to myself, Father, I want to be Evelyn. The woman you want me to be. The woman you have created me to be. Sometimes, you must do something you hate in order to create something you love. Prophet T.B. Joshua turned around to us and said, ask me, who do I want to be like? And we asked, Prophet, who do you want to be like? That I am, I said, Daddy, who do you want to be like? And he responded before us all with a song. Lord, I want to be like Jesus in my heart. In my heart. Lord, I want to be like Jesus in my heart, in my heart, in my heart, in my Thank you, Jesus. You may have your seat. Yes, sometimes we need to do something we hate in order to gain or in order to achieve something we love. Who do you want to be like? Decision creates events. Say to someone today, reposition yourself for endurance. Reposition yourself for endurance. Reposition yourself for cheerfulness. Reposition yourself for greatness. Reposition yourself for goodness. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in the book of John 4 verse 14 says, Whosoever drinks from the water I give to them will not thirst again. Whosoever drink from the water I give to them will not thirst again because the water will become springs of living water inside of them, welling up into eternal life. Jesus Christ is the water to the thirsty. Jesus is the bread to the hungry. He is the roadmap to the lost. A companion to the lonely. He is our advocate. Our comforter. The savior of the world. He is our champion for life. Our winner for life. My brethren. People of God. Whatever God has given to you today is what he's going to use to bless others through you. We all are given gifts. Discover yours. Whatever God has given to you today is what he's going to use to bless others through you. And so I say to you, in place of darkness, be a shining light. In place of war, be an agent of peace. In place of unfaithfulness, be an agent of faithfulness. In place of pride and arrogance, be an agent of humility and contentment. Remember Joseph in the Bible. God gave him a gift. He used it to the glory of God and to the benefit of man. He can interpret dreams. People benefited from it. Remember Ruth. She is a caregiver. Her name is written in the pool of life today. Her name is written in the book of life because of Naomi. Prophet T.B. Joshua was endowed with power. With anointing from high. He used it. To the glory of God. And to the benefit of man. May God bless his soul. Six months ago, at this hour, your prophet was bubbling with life. I am a witness. He prayed for hours. But yesterday is history. Today is the opportunity. And tomorrow is the mystery. Only in the hand of God. And so I thank you all. I thank you for coming once again. Welcoming you all to this reunion service. May God bless you all. May God bless you all. May he bless his word in your heart. I leave you. Yes, but before I leave here, I want to acknowledge the presence of some people. I honor you all. Thanks for coming. So I was moving around now. I looked towards this end. And I saw people sitting down there. They are the product of Prophet TV Joshua. <laughs> and I know they are here to honor their mentor, their father in the Lord. May God honor you. May God honor you. 
May he prosper the work of your hands. May you continue to grow. As for us in the synagogue, we will continue to multiply. That is the promises of God. And God's promises cannot go unfulfilled. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Thank you.